week on News Whiz, three top schools from all over India battle it out in the quiz arena. From the national capital, one of New Delhi's oldest schools with luminous names among its alumni, modern school Barakhamba Road. From the south of India, with a huge strength of 7,000 students and 800 staff, a school set up to combine the virtues of a temple of art and culture, Chetanad Vidyashram. And from the west, a school with a 150-year history, originally set up for daughters of members of the British Army, St. Mary School, Pune. Welcome to News Whiz, India's battleground to find which Indian school team really knows its news. The truth may be out there, but if it's in here, you've got it made. If your idea of a delicious scoop is the Panama Papers and not your favourite ice cream, then this is the quiz for you. It's an hour full of questions, but unlike our Parliament's question hour, those questions here will be answered with no adjournments. But first, it's time to meet a whiz kid from a different arena. On every episode of News Whiz, we will have a friendly face in the studio to help our teams if they ever get stuck. Fittingly, we are calling this person our news guest. Who's today's news guest? She's a TV professional who currently hosts the highly popular daily debate show Halla Bol on Aaj Tak. Please welcome our very own Anjana Om Kashyap. Give her a big Thank hand. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anjana, Thank you, Ranjit. Good to have you. Thank you. Are you a quizzer? Uh, not too much, but quick searches really help, even in our profession. So when you were in school, were you the kind who quizzed or were you the kind who actually studied or did you, were you the kind who spent all her time doing everything else in life but studying? I was the kind who debated. You're the kind who debated. Okay, yeah. that's pretty <laughs> impressive. That's why you became a news anchor. Absolutely. And you shouted and all those And we argue on it. And we you, argue. You argue on <laughs> air and shout with all those netas. Okay, but why stop at one news guest? We are opening our news whiz innings with a lofted drive over cover today. It's only fitting that then we ask you to welcome our second news guest, a batting powerhouse for Uttar Pradesh, the Gujarat Lions IPL franchise, and a superstar for Team India, as well as an occasional captain of the country. Please welcome Suresh Rena. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful to see you on the show, Suresh. Thank you very much. First of all, Ek bar mujhe dekha do, how do I play this shot over cover? No, I generally have bat number three, sir, in IPL. Huh. So I try to see the line of the ball and try to play between point and mid off. But you do it so easily, yaar. Kya hai? What is the secret? वो देखना पड़ता है सर बॉल कहाँ मारना है वो बैट के बीच में लगता है तो फिर वो बाउंड्री और सिक्स मिलता है अरे यार आई आई विश इट वाज सो इजी वांटरफुल टू हैव यू बट यू नो द थिंग इज यू आर अ क्रिकेटर यू आर लुकिंग गुड व्हिच इज ग्रेट बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू सिंग यू आर अ गुड सिंगर योर फेवरेट कि� दिल का तराना। I sing in the bathroom. You can sing on air. Fantastic. What are your words of encouragement for these teams? I think who is competition going to be challenging? Like I saw Chennai, Pune, and Delhi school are there. You just need to calm, relax, and listen, then answer. Suresh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Give him a big hand again. Suresh, man, wonderful to have him on News Waves. Our news guests are in position. It's now time go. to go to the teams that are vying to be the Sultans of this edition of News Wiz. We have three teams with us today, three sets of pretenders to the throne, comprising of students from classes 9 to 12 from across the country. Our news reporter has taken them outside and around the India Today media plex for a little tour also. We have with us on News Wiz, please welcome the team from modern school Barakhamba of Pawas and Ayan. So guys, tell me the name of your team. Uh, our team name is Chai Duba Biscuit. Why is it that you've chosen this name? It's, uh, it's a name that we've inherited and it's brought our school a lot of laurels and good luck. 
as a team do you think you can win this definitely we think we can win this we have a fair amount of quizzing experience and i hope that helps us yaar yeah, i am pavas you look like typical delhi ke bachche you already decided you won huh <laughs> we can try you can try you can try great to have you on the show i'm told one of you wants to be a director and the other an actor what is this some jodi number 1 that you are trying in hindi, in hindi cinema <laughs> uh he wants to be a director i want to be an actor dreams you think you look like an actor i could try well yeah. the thing is if i can be a news anchor you can be an actor always remember that and i must also tell you there's a good luck charm because modern school barakhamba is the school of another left-handed opening batsman for india gautam you know, gambhir gautam gambhir so you've got one number 3 and you've got one number 2 playing for india from modern school so this could be your good luck charm all the best guys i and pavas enjoy yourself chill okay let's then turn to our second team and it's the team from st mary school pune stuti and riya welcome to the show so guys what's the name of your team avagadro oh that's a peculiar name how come you chose it both of us are really into chemistry and avagadro was one of the most influential chemistry scientists of all times you will be competing with two boys teams what do you think gives you an edge I think women in every sphere have proven to be as good as if not better than the boys and we've worked really hard. So guys are into mm -hmm. chemistry? Yeah. Chemistry? Yes. One of you I'm told is into cross stitching. Mm -hmm. What's cross stitching? Um it is a style of stitching where the cloth has a number of holes in it and you use that as the base to put your needle and thread into so you can create designs with My that. My god, you're into cross stitching and chemistry. And I'm told you're a Beatles fan. You like Beatles? You want to sing much. Yellow Submarine for us? No, come on, let's say come on. Why um, not? Can you We all live in a yellow submarine. Very good, very easy. Come on. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will find. We will find we only have to quiz. Okay, our third team that's joining us yeah. on the show today is the team from the Chettinad Vidya Ashram in Chennai. Please welcome Siddharth and Omkar. So guys tell me your team name. Our team name is Einstein Frankenstein. Do you guys think you'll be channeling your inner Einsteins and winning this quiz? Oh uh, yeah definitely because we know we are one of the best uh, quizzing teams out there. So tell me what are your strengths? Our uh, strength is basically uh, general stuff anything and everything. What are you most uncomfortable answering? Probably entertainment uh, because uh, we don't watch much movies and uh, follow pop culture. Chennai is the quizzing capital of the country huh? It is. Yes. Yeah. Sure. You've got a Chennai Super Kings out there in Suresh Raina. You want to tell him something? Huh? Yeah, I'm He's a big fan. CSK fan. You're a big CSK fan. And waiting for CSK to return after like one year or so. And Rajdeep, I hope no special favors. No special favors, huh? <laughs> yeah? But he was a CSK superstar, sure. right? And it's the same colors. You're wearing colors similar to CSK. I see today. <laughs> But tell me, Omkar and Siddharth. I'm told one of you is Einstein and one of you is Frankenstein. Yeah. Who's Einstein and who's Frankenstein? He's Einstein. He's Einstein. He's the clever one. I know. And you're Frankenstein. Yeah. Which means I'll scare others. You'll scare others. My God. Okay. Omkar Siddharth, welcome to the show. Give them a big hand. All the three teams: Chennai, Pune, and the team from Delhi. I have to ask you, though, Suresh. Are you going to secretly support that team from Chennai? <laughs> Dil mein abhi bhi Chennai hai. What is that? Whistle Podu, right? Uh, Whistle Podu. You going to support them? No extra favor. No, I'll huh? support everyone. Okay, Suresh is supporting every team. Indeed, that's what we all are. Every team is even Stevens for us because these teams are here to show us their quizzing medal. But they aren't just here for the fun of it. There's a coveted news whiz trophy that's up for grabs, and this is it. Okay, let's open up then with news whiz with a round that's all about what's been in the news. Let's play. In this round, you will see a news stream made of different sets of news stories. Each set contains 3 news stories. Teams must select one set from the news stream and stop press. They must then try and answer all three questions from the set of their choice. Each question carries a hundred points. You can ask for an indirect clue in the form of an anagram if you get stuck, but then you will only get fifty points for that question. 
For any one question in your set of stories, you can also ask the news guest for help. If you ask for his help before the anagram has been shown, you get the full 100 points. But if you've already asked for an anagram, you can only get 50 points for that question. There's a 100 point bonus if you answer all three questions without any additional help. There's no negative marking and questions don't pass. Let's then start with modern school Barakhamba. Remember, the moment you want to stop on a new stream, just say stop press. Take a look at your clues. One. The turkey one. They want the one with turkey. The new stream which has turkey. Autobiography, turkey, coup and Madhya Pradesh is the one that modern school Barakhamba have chosen. Okay, your first question then on autobiography is, take a look. Whose autobiography is named Ace Against Odds? Sanya Mirza. Sure? Sure. Freeze it. Freeze. Sanya Mirza says modern school Barakhamba. It's the... Right answer, well done. 100 points, you know your tennis. Good ace at the start. Your second question. You asked a question there on Turkey coup. Take a look at your question. Against which Turkish president was a military coup attempted recently? Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Sure of it? Sure. Definitely. Okay, you sound very cocksure. Is that the right answer? It is the right answer. Recep Erdogan, well done. Another 100 points to you. Your third question in your new stream is, in July 2016, Madhya Pradesh announced the creation of which new department inspired by the GNH of Bhutan? Ministry, Ministry of, of Happiness. Happiness. Department. Department. Yeah. Ministry of Happiness, Department of Happiness. Department, department. Of, department. It's a department. Department yeah, of Happiness. Okay, that's your answer. Sure of it? Sure. Let's take a look. Well done. It is the Happiness Department or what they call in Madhya Pradesh the Anand Vibhag. Well done. 300 points. Suresh, ye first round. Mein, what do you call it? Your power play. Mein, six is in your power play. Six for 60. <laughs> six for 60. Well done. Six over 60 runs. You've got 300 full points there. Anjana, sabse oh, tez. Amazing. Sabse tez. style. <laughs> well done. Okay, so you get 300 points, but you also get a bonus of 100 points. You get 400 points. 400 points right at the start to modern school Barakhamba. Let's move on. Take a look at your new stream and what you want to select, Ria and Stuti. Come on. Chief Minister Vijinder Singh, Donald Trump. Interesting combination you've chosen. Your first question on Chief Ministers is Dorji Khandu, Nabam Tuki, and Kaliko Pool have all served as Chief Ministers of which state? Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh? Yes. Sure, well yes. done. Let's take a look. It is the right answer. Well done, girls. See, it's easy. Relax. Relax, Ria. <laughs> yoga karo, yoga. Okay, next question in your stream is, take a look. Vijinder Singh recently beat Kerry Hope of which country to win the WBO Asia Pacific Super Middleweight title? You can take help. Wales. You can take anagram. Wales. You want to go with it? You don't want to take help? No. You don't want to take Suresh and Anjana's no. help? No. They say Wales. Oh, the answer is Australia, I'm afraid. Suresh, I believe you went to the match. Yeah, huh? yeah. You saw the match? Yes, You're a boxer also? It was good to see his punching, hope like anything. Are, are, are you a boxer? No. Boxing is coming? No, no, no. No, never? But not professionally, sir. Not professionally, okay. <laughs> okay, take a look at what is your third question on Donald Trump. To which building in New York City did an Indian company Tiami deliver four years supply of green tea meant for Donald Trump to help him purify his mind. You'll take help. You'll take help? What do you want? Anagram or you want their help? Help. Come on, help them. 
Which building in New York City did an Indian company, TRP, deliver four years supply? Trump Towers in New York. Trump Towers in New York. You've got your Gyan portal here. You want to go with them? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, well done, guys. Suki and we are 200 points in that first round. Okay, let's turn to team three. The Frankenstein and Einstein from Chennai. Chetinad Vidyashram. Well, we'll go with the fat tax. Fat tax. Fat, tax. fat tax. Your first question is on Century at Lords, and it is. Who scored a century at Lords and became the oldest captain to score a test century? Uh, Ms. Baul Haq. Ms. Baul Haq. Yeah. Suresh, is it the right answer? Yes, sir. Sure? Yeah. It is the right answer. Ms. Baul Haq indeed. Well done, guys. 100 points. Remember, you have in Ms. Baul Haq someone who has scored all his tests, or five of his hundreds have come after the age of 40. He's 42. Let's take a look at your next question. And it is... Which Indian state government proposed the imposition of a fat tax on burgers, pizzas and pastas served in branded restaurants? Kerala. 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 Sure. Chennai to Tiruvananthapuram, you've got your circuit right. Yes. That's right, it is Kerala. Well done, guys. Another 100 points to your total. Okay, let's take a look then at your third question. Ringing Bells has recently claimed to have launched the world's cheapest smartphone. What is its name? Uh, Freedom 251. Freedom 251. 251. 251. Freedom 251. That's right. Freedom 251. Your answer is right. Remember, the phone is supposedly going to cost 251. We don't know how good it's going to be, but they claim it's going to be good enough. Well done. You also get 400 points. Give them a big hand, they get their bonus. Okay, let's take a look now at the scores before we move ahead. Take a look. With 200 points, St. Mary School, Pune, Stuti and Ria. With 400 points, we have a tie between Chetinad Vidyashram in Chennai and Modern School, Barakhamba, both on 400. Let's give them a big hand. And while we clap, we have to have Suresh Rena, unfortunately, leave us now. Because Suresh is going to go to practice. Not his singing, <laughs> but his cricket this time. But before that, Suresh, last time you sang the song. Now I will start and you wow. have to start. Okay? okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful to have Suresh Rana. Do you have any last minute tips for these teams? Just good luck. Just good luck. Keep breathing and look to enjoy each and every question. Thank you very much, Suresh. And it's been wonderful to have him on the show. But we've got plenty more ahead because this quiz is not over. You can now win an exciting prize, not from me, but from a true blue sultan. Take a look at our viewer question and who's asking it. And we'll be back with more on the newsways. A popular wrestling technique is inspired by a profession. Which is that? A. B. C. D. Please SMS your answer to 52424. Type newsways gap salman gap your choice of right option a b c or d if more than one person gets the answer right Welcome back to news Wiz. now i'm used to bringing the latest election results to viewers but before we move on I want to tell you how we've all fared in round one. Take a look at the teams. At the moment, St. Mary's School, Pune, 200 points. They missed one or two questions in round one. Tied at the top, Chennai. The team from Chennai, Chetinad Vidyashram and Modern School, Barakhamba, both on 400 points each. Anjana, getting tough, huh? Absolutely. This is going to be a very important hot seat now, I believe. That's right. There are three more rounds to go, so there's plenty to happen. Now, remember, every week, Something happens somewhere in the world that dominates the news conversation. Something so big that even a short news report can't do it justice. Some weeks ago it was Brexit. This week 
it's militancy and terrorism that's our top story so with a sincere wish to see all our lives in this quiz play out peacefully let's go to our top story in this round we'll show you our top story for the week and ask you six questions related to it each team is assigned a question if you answer the question correctly you get 100 points if you don't the questions can pass to the other teams on the buzzer remember teams can press the buzzer at any time so they'll only get a chance to answer if the team that was assigned the question misses it the correct answer on a pass could get you 100 points but if it's wrong that's minus 50 If we still don't get the right answer from our teams, we'll offer you a set of four choices and we'll open the question to all teams on the buzzer. If a team answers a question at this stage, it can earn 50 points or lose 50 if it's wrong. So be sure and be swift before you buzz. You are all on your buzzers, ready? Time now for top story on terror and militancy. Our first question is to the team from Chennai Chettinad Vidya Ashram here's your question Puran one who was recently killed in an encounter in Kashmir was a commander of which militant outfit his boy his boy are you sure his boy the full name his boy mujahideen his boy mujahideen is that the right answer it is the right answer well done fantastic go 100 points to you well done there Okay, let's then turn quickly to the team from St. Mary's School Pune. Come on girls, you can buck up now. Which restaurant located in the Gulshan area of Dhaka was attacked by terrorists on 1st July 2016? Which restaurant located in the Gulshan area of Dhaka was attacked by terrorists? No idea, you want to pass it? Pass. Chennai was on the buzzer first. Holy Artisan Bakery. Bakery. Holy Artisan Bakery. It's Holy Artisan Bakery. It is the right answer. Well done. Well done. The Holy Artisan Bakery was indeed the restaurant where the terrorists attacked in Dhaka on 1st July 2016. Powers, Ian, let's go to the next question and it's to you. Take a look. Your question is In June 2016 this monument was illuminated in rainbow colors to pay homage to the victims of which attack uh, Orlando, Orlando uh, nightclub shooting Orlando nightclub shooting is your final answer that's the picture clue you're saying that this monument which is the Eiffel Tower Eiffel Tower in Paris was lit up for Orlando not for Paris It is the Orlando Club attack. Well done. Right answer on June 12, 2016. Omar Mateen, a 29-year-old American, killed 49 people inside Pulse, a nightclub in Orlando. Modern schools picked up 100 points there. Let's go back to Chennai for your next question. After which Turkish president is the Istanbul airport named that faced a terror attack on the 28th of June, 2016? Uh, Kamal Atatürk. Kemal Atatürk. Yeah. Is that your last answer? Yeah. It is Mustafa Kemal Atatürk was the Turkish military officer and the first president of Turkey. Well done. Fantastic go as they say. The next question to the team from St Mary's in Pune. Your question is In which area in the Kashmir Valley popularly known as the land of the saffron? was a group of crpf personnel ambushed in june 2016 you want me to pass that um yeah okay let me pass that let me pass that to the other team nobody's gone on the buzzer okay take a look at your options quick on the buzzer these are your options take a look yes gulmarg you're saying gulmarg yes sure I don't know. You don't know, but that's a nice reaction from you there. You've taken a chance. It's the wrong answer though. Nice reaction, wrong answer. Anyone else wants to go? Yes. Katra. It is the wrong answer again. Nobody's going uh, for the buzzer. Nobody's gone for the buzzer. The Time is up. Time is up. No one's gone for the buzzer. The right answer is Anjana. Pampor. Pampor is the right answer. That sad incident there. 
took place in June of 20. Remember, 90% of the saffron production of the Kashmir Valley comes from the Pampur area. Let's turn to the next and last question in this top story round. Take a look. The university in Khyber Pakhtunwa in Pakistan that faced a terror attack earlier this year is named after which personality? Mohammad Ali Jinnah. Mohammad Ali Jinnah, you're saying. Mohammad Ali Jinnah, the father of the Pakistani nation, it's the wrong answer. On the buzzer, Chennai. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan is what Chennai is claiming. Is it the right answer? It is the right answer. Well done. Fantastico. That is the right answer. The frontier Gandhi, as they called him, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, also known as, of course, Batsha Khan, many years ago, a great ally of Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, the top story round is over. Let's take a look at the scores at the end of that round. There we have the score. St. Mary's School, Pune, 150 points. In second place, Modern School, Barakhamba in Delhi with 500 points. But leading at the moment is Chetinad Vidyashram from Chennai with 700 points. Anjana, one team has gone ahead. Absolutely, and, and it's quite a margin now. I mean, 200. Don't worry, 200 <laughs> can be overcome. There's, there are plenty Absolutely. more points left because remember, in the times gone by, those who sought wisdom and knowledge would climb mountains in search of the truth. But today, those of us that seek knowledge simply whip out our smartphones and ask, are Virat and Anushka still an item? <laughs> but is everything that lurks on the World Wide Web true? Or are the facts a little more nuanced? Or should we all be saying Google Namo Shibai? Let's try and find out in our round three of news with where Anjana is going to help you. It's a round where we are going to play match time. In match time, each team is assigned one question. You'll see five images related to one overall topic with eight possible options. You have 75 seconds in which to try and match all five images with their correct answers. For every correct match, you get 50 points. One team member is allowed to search the internet for the right answers through a dedicated Gyan portal. In the last 30 seconds of the challenge, you can ask the news guest for his or her help. If you get all five answers correct without the news guest's help, you get a 100-point bonus. There's no negative marking and questions don't pass. Okay, rules fairly clear on match time. Let's open up then with the team from Modern School Barakamba. Let's take a look at what you've got to match, young men. Let's take a look at this, Ayan and Pravas. Match these union ministers with their respective portfolios. Who's going to stay with me and who's going to I'll Anjana stay, I'll stay on here. the Gyan portal? I'll stay here. Ayan, you're staying with me? Pravas, go there. Come on, guys. You've really got to get this now. This is your big chance to make up lost ground. Match these union ministers with their respective portfolios. Take a look. These are the ministers. Nirmala Sitaraman, Uma Bharti, Anupriya Patel, Menka Gandhi, Harsimrat Badal. And these are your options. Your time has begun. 75 seconds have started. Menka Gandhi is women and child development. Menaka uh, Gandhi is women and child development. Water resources. Are you sure? Uma Bharti is water resources. Uma Bharti is water resources. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, Anupriya Patel. Nirmala oh, Sitaraman. HK Badal is food processing. HK Badal. Har Simrat Badal food, food processing. processing. Still two to go. Less than 50 seconds. Come on, talk to each other. Tell him, Bas. what do you want? Third one, uh, Anupriya. Anupriya, Anupriya Patel. Patel. Anupriya Patel. From Uttar Pradesh. Anupriya. New minister. Okay, less than 30. You want to take the help of uh, uh, Anjana or not? No, no, no. Anupriya Patel. Bas. Remember, Bas. if you, if Bas. you Bas. take Bas. her help, Bas. you only lose Bas. your Bas. bonus. Bas. But she Bas. might help tribal, you. Tribal, tribal, tribal. Tri tribal affairs is Anupriya. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. I Remember, Anjana knows of some of these. You could take her help. Health. health and family welfare is Anupriya and culture and tourism is N. Sitharaman. Health and 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 uh, commerce and industry and Sita Raman. Commerce and commerce and industry and Sita Raman. Commerce and industry, you're changing your mind. Okay, this is your final lot. Yeah. Well done, guys. Whew. <laughs> you want to take a deep breath? Ah. <laughs> Come on, let's see what you've got. You said Nirmala Sita Raman is commerce and industry. Is it the right answer? 
rubbish. Well done. You said Uma Bharti is water resources. It is the right answer. Anupriya Patel was the one that frazzled you. You said health and family welfare. Well done, you eventually got it right. Menaka Gandhi, women and child development. It is right. Have Simrat Badal. You said food processing industries. Well done. Out. What happened? You hit him too hard. Well done. Well, you survived that. Anjana, they didn't Amazing. Your help. Amazing. Did you know Anupriya yeah. Patel? Uh, I did, but nobody was interested in asking Why? Me. There, here is a but political anchor. You should have used her, guys. But you would have good. saved yourself all that hard trouble. But there was the bonus. Okay, okay. but you've yeah. got the bonus and you've got your 350, which raises your score substantively. And I'm going to come and play match time now with the girls from St. Mary's School, Pune. Ready, guys? First, let's take a look at your question. Match these characters with their respective films. Go. Uh, go. Who's going to go to Anjana? Uh, uh, yes, going to go. Oh, come on, come on, Ria. You go there. Come. Stuti, all set? Yes. Take a look, Stuti. Um, Urta Punjab is Gabru. You've seen Urta Punjab? No, I can see it's but, Shahid Kapoor. Oh, but you're saying Urta Punjab is Gabru. Okay, yeah. that's Shahid Kapoor. You're yeah. a Shahid fan. Go ahead. Your time has begun. Uh, this uh, Akshay Kumar one is Rustam. Akshay Kumar is Rustam? Are you no, sure? It's Ernif. It's Ernif. Ernif. Okay, change it to Ernif. Change it to Ernif? Yes, change it to Ernif. She's Elif. telling you to change it? Change it to Ernif, guys. Akshay um, Kumar, change to Ernif. Sangeeta. Change Akshay Kumar to Ernif. Um, uh, Aryan Khanna is fan. Aryan Khanna is fan. Aryan Khanna is fan. Sure. Shahrukh's film. It looks like him. It looks like him. Okay, go then, for fan. Sangeeta, Ria. Um, Sangeeta, what? Come on, Ria. Dangal is the last one. Dangal is the last Dangal, one. What? Ria, Sangeeta, Sangeeta, Sangeeta. Dangal is the last one. MS Hogan. Come on, Ria. Uh, Come on, pass. Ria. You can take the help of Anjana. Ria. Anjana knows the answer, I fear. Uh, so tell me okay, that. Okay, okay. Anjana, come on. Uh, Sangeeta, I, I'll need to uh, search Azhar. a little. Uh, go. Say it. Azhar. Azhar. Yes. Okay, she Say says Azhar. Azhar. I, I won't take your help. She doesn't want to take your help, Anjana. She's oh. gone on her own with Azhar. You You've got a guess there? Yes. You've guessed. Okay, let's see if your guess is right. Come on here. Come on, Ria. Oh. Who? <sighs> well done, Ria. Not bad at all. Let's take a look. Are you feeling better now? Yes. Okay. Let's take a look. Gabru Urta Punjab, you said because she's a Shahid Kapoor fan. Is it the right answer? It is. Ranjit Katyal, the film was airlift, you said. Is it the right answer? It is. Well done. Sangeeta, that frazzled you a bit. You said Azhar. Is it the right answer? Yes. Wow. That was a real tukka. Well done. The film, the biopic on Azharuddin. Aryan Khanna, you said fan. Are you a fan of Shahrukh? Well done. M.S. Foga, you said Dangal, the soon to be released film of Amir. Is it the right answer? Yes. It is! Wow! Lovely, you've got the smile back. Okay, you asked for help from Anjana, but she didn't take it. Which is why I am going to give you the bonus. Well done, guys. A hundred only as an exception. Only as an exception. Okay, let me then come to the next team. Chetinad Vidya Ashram Chennai. Let's take a look at what's your match time question. Match these space missions with their destinations. Yeah. Who's going to stay with me and who's going there? Staying, I'm going there? You're going to the Gyan portal? Go, go there, Omkar. Frankenstein's gone there. Einstein is with me. Okay, guys, come on. These are your choices. Juno is Jupiter. Jupiter. Juno is Jupiter. You're going for it right away. M O M. Juno Jupiter. M O M is Mars. 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 Yeah. M O M is Mars. You're saying. Okay. You still, your time's gonna be running soon. Ulysses, Messenger, Magellan. Ulysses is Sun. Sun. Ulysses, you're saying, is Sun. Uh, Magellan. You have to agree. Magellan is Venus. Magellan is Venus. You are agreeing? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Sure. There could be one wrong there. There's no wrong thing. Sure. Sure? Sure. You want me to, you want to come back? Lock yeah. this in? Yeah. Okay, lock it in. Take a look at what you've done. Match these space missions with their destination. You're saying 100 yeah. percent Omkar. Yeah. Let me take a look. Juno, Jupiter. Right answer. Ulysses, Sun. Right answer. MON Mars. Right answer. Messenger Mercury. Right answer. 
Magellan Venus. Well done, fantastico! You've maxed this round. In fact, all of you have maxed it. Great work done by the three teams on match time. So let's take a look at the scores as we head into round four. St. Mary's School Pune did very well in that round. They're up to 500. Come on, give me a big smile, girls. That's good. Well done. Modern School Barakhamba, you've made a bit of a comeback. You're up 850. But still leading is the school from Chennai, Chetinad Vidyashram, with 1050. You're 200 points ahead. But remember, there's one more round to go and like in any race, it's the last stretch that often decides who is the final winner. Welcome back once again to News Wiz. Three rounds have been played but we've got one to go and we will now decide which of our news hounds is going to seize the day. Who's got a solid whiff of the action and who's losing the scent. Let's find out though in the round that we are about to start but before that want to get a sense Anjana look at the marks the difference is about 200 points between number two and number one who are you going with oh don't ask me that that's a difficult one but their faces say the whole story he's yep. very serious Powers has just taken it to his heart Powers, you're very nervous huh the actor in you is it the <laughs> actor in you which is feeling a sense of nervousness <laughs> Right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Ria, you're feeling better about life, right? <laughs> right, after that last round. Yeah. And Stuti, yeah. well done. You got Azhar, I remember, <laughs> yeah. in the last round, right? That's really lifted your face. Great. Omkar, Siddharth, you're the guys who've got all the answers at the moment, right? Confident? Right, yes. But you could gain or lose up to 500 points in this last session, so anything can change. On to our final round then on News Wiz, where up to 500 points can be won or lost. This is make or break. Remember, you can take words or sounds in isolation and you get only half the picture. But put them together and you get television perfection. It's that quest for perfection that our three teams now need to join. As we open up our final round, let's play News Buzz. In News Buzz, we will ask five audio-visual questions that are open to all teams on the buzzer. A correct answer will gain you 100 points, while an incorrect answer means you lose 100 points. Questions don't pass in this round. All clear? Let's buzz! You've heard the rules. Fingers on the buzzer. Five questions. Your time is about to start with the first question. The first question is, which chief minister's voice is this? Whether it's Libya or other countries, where people are free, they are the country. But after being free, they are looking for the country. Modern school Barakhamba has gone for it. Your answer? Mehbooba Mufti. Mehbooba Mufti says modern school Barakhamba. Is it the right answer? Yes, it is. Fantastico. That's the right answer. Well done, guys. The gap is 100 points. The next question is, who is this Indian sportswoman? Who is this Indian sportswoman that you will now see on your screen? Dati Chan says St. Mary's School, Pune. Is it the right answer? Is it the right answer? Yes. Well done, guys. Fantastico. That's the right answer. That's Dati Chan, the first Indian woman to qualify for the women's 100 meters event where she's the national champion since P.T. Usha, way back in the 1980s. Two questions up, three more to go. Let's take a look at the third question in News Buzz. From this video clue, identify the country that Prime Minister Narendra Modi was visiting. Modern school Barakamba. Tanzania. Tanzania. Tanzania is the right answer. We now have a tie at the top between modern school and Chetinad Vidyashram with two questions to go. 
This is as close as it gets. Your fourth question is, for 100 points, with which brand would you associate this song? Nike. 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 Yeah. Sure? Sure. Yes? yes. Oh, well done. Okay. One question to go. 100 points. Anything can happen. Remember, there's negative marking as well. Your fifth question. Who is this leader taking part in a march? Modern school Barakhamba has gone for it. Yes. Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada. Prime Minister of Canada, are you sure? Yes. Is it Justin Trudeau? We have a tie at the top. We have a tie at the top. Yes, Justin Trudeau took part in the Pride Parade or Gay Parade. The first Prime Minister to participate in such a parade on the 3rd of July 2016. I just wish we had a few Prime Ministers like him around. We now have a tie, Anjana. 1,150 modern school. Doesn't get closer than this. Doesn't get closer than this at all. This guys, is amazing. you want to take but, a deep breath? Ooh. But they've come back okay, to the game. Don't worry, they've guys. Really you've back. done well, St. Mary's School. But we've got a tie between these two schools. Tiebreaker question. Remember one question. Who gets it right, who gets it wrong will decide who goes to the next round. Who is the singer of this song? A.R. Rahman. You're saying A.R. Rahman? You're, you from seem hesitant. From Mohenjo-Daro. Yes. A.R. Rahman from Mohenjo-Daro. You're going with that? Is that the right answer, guys? Oh, yes! Yes! Right yes! <laughs> Wow! Hey, Rahman, well done. Fantastic. I need to take a break. Come on, Siddharth Omkar. Come on in. Well done. Fantastic. Well done. Woo! Huh? What happened? You're breathing hard. Well, congrats to the winners. They get an iPhone laptop each as well as one Amazon Kindle each and move to the semi-finals. But fantastic work done there. You made a great comeback. Their modern school, Barakamba. You really made this. Anjana, thank you so much for joining us. And the girls from St. Mary's, well done. You are the youngest, remember, so you can come again next yes. year. Well done. Well done. Okay, fantastic. Well done, winners. Your, your heart is still beating, I can see. And you got in the week of Kabali, a Chennai winner. So you want to give me a Kabali dialogue quickly? Sure, it's, it's my pleasure. What? Palaya Tamil Padangala, you can see the Lungi Ketikit, and Ambi are a Kabali in Sonana. Kaiki did his Sulung Ejima, and the Marika Brandanisia. Kabali da. Okay, I'm not going to ask you what it is. It's a rugby dialogue. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Remember, news is knowledge. That's why you can play News Whiz. We have plenty more rounds and we are going to have a lot of fun in deciding who's going to be India's News Whiz. And to my friends from Modern School and St. Mary's School, don't worry. My song is Ruk Jana Nahi Tu Kahi Haar Ke Kato Pe Chal Ke Milenge Saye Bahar Ke So remember, lots to happen. Many more schools just waiting to wow us with their current affairs quotients. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another set of young news hounds. Till then, I'm Rajdeep Sardesai and as they say in Tamil, Point to where? Bye for now. Till we meet again.